Well, goodbye world. If I had Samira too, I win this for sure. Literally, like, I, I died because my Samira was just, like, lacking in HP. Like, not even to the damage, the HP. But if you look at Hacker now, Pike is, like, one of the best units in the game. Pike is one of the best units in the game. Uh, with a, He's tanky. He does a massive AoE stun, and he moves around and disrupts, like, AoE, or disrupts fights. And oftentimes, he's the reason why, like, your, your carry dies. Shen makes the unit in the hacker invulnerable for six seconds, and he's an insane tank. Like, the hackers this set are a lot stronger. Okay, so that's why it's strong. Now for why it's bu or why it's annoying is because it's bugged. It's bugged, and it does... it. It has targeting that is too favorable slash too smart. Uh, and Mortdog, I, from what I've heard, Mortdog said it was not intended and they're going to fix it. So, but I'll, I'll tell you that in general, it is not working correctly and they're going to fix it soon. So people ask like, why don't you play hacker yourself? It's because you're basically bug abusing for LP and I'm not down. Like the people who bug abuse for LP are gonna lose the LP immediately afterwards once it gets fixed. They're going to face better players, lose because they can't rely on the bug abuse, and then they're going to lose their LP. Wouldn't the bug abusers just find a new bug to abuse? I don't think there's going to be a game-breaking bug to abuse every single game patch. If there is, I would quit TFT. Rich get richer, one item start? There's Sure Shot Crest, which is very solid, but Rich get richer, one item start? Wait, if I sell my board, I can make 40. Let me check my admin really quick. Yes. 40 gold on the first round. This is a woke game. I got zero items. I only got money and I made econ both times. And then rich get richer. Poppy, you lost that? You're fired. All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna rich get richer and sack the entire stage. And then once I have a million gold, I'm gonna give everybody watching this stream or YouTube video one gold. 48 gold. What am I even gonna play? What build do I even play here to, to win? Can we kill one unit? Can we kill one? What is a build that you should play if you have a million gold? I don't know. I guess I'll just go nine. Oh, Lucent. So most builds require like a, a one, one or two cost unit somewhere in there as an investment. Like, I'm gonna play Mecha Prime. I need to hold these Wukongs for later. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I can barely not make 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I'm like one gold short. That's so sad. Dang, I'm just like actually barely short. I just saved 2 HP. Remember this moment. Okay, this makes a lot of good tank items. Sunfire if I want to be flexible. Gargoyle, war um, Gargoyle Redemption if I'm playing Infinity Team. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. 70 gold and 2-5. Go get him, son. We got a pog in the chat for this, Ramus. Here we go! Boom! Oh, V. Thanks for the sub. This guy's sweating. He's looking at my board, and he's like, bro, are you serious? What are the odds he sells this whole board? I'm watching. Okay. Hello, Justin. If I bought units, I might have been able to kill one unit. But I didn't want to face that guy and accidentally win. Dude, I could be level 7, 50 gold on 3-1. Right. I should be level 6 right now. Wait, this is so crazy. What the? Three orbs from the first Krog? I've never seen that before. Two orbs? Wait, this is crazy. I just got five orbs from Krogs. Six orbs from Krogs. What? I mean, like, I know it's a like compensate for what happened. Oh my god! I got this. Wait, dude, what the hell? I just hit a comm. Yeah. I just, like, straight up hit a full comm. I just got Twisted Fate at 6, naturally. And I already have this. And then I've got Sunfire, Gargoyle, Chain... What the... I have Infinity Team Duelist. Like, I might actually start winning rounds. Okay, I will slam this on fire. I'm not sold on, sl on slamming Declaw yet. Dude, imagine anti up. Oh, am I about to get a one unit loss? Is this a good one unit? Uh oh. You know what? I'm down to start the win streak. Oh my god, Infinity Team Crest. All right, yeah, no, I'm down. Like, I'm, I'm actually high rolling. Okay, I don't want to roll too deep here. Just roll a little bit to hit like a Sivir. No, a Samira. Holy. Get paid and get out. Holy shit, this rel. All right, I guess we're slamming Garen items. Wow. Wow, dude. What an insane game. Okay, uh, I guess you don't need the Nico then. Janet can be my random spell slinger. Like, I might actually play around the Twisted Fate just because I have one. I don't have to play sure shots. But I'm down for an Infinity Team Crest because it's what I have right now. Wait, this game is insane. Level 7, 40 gold, and that's after rolling. That's on 3-2. I'm literally like 60 gold, maybe 50 gold ahead of the entire lobby. And I'm strong. You have a free Sivir you didn't need to roll? Shut the heck up, dude. I'm not rolling for a Sivir. I'm rolling for one of the 700 units that make my board stronger. I want to roll again. Oh, God. I'm so close to an upgrade. I'm going to do it. I'm going to hit. I never hold back. Vi, stand suspicious. Here's where I get my cut. All right. I'm gonna sell one Jax. Jax is like pretty easy to two star in the pursuit of two star Garen. All right, can this Twisted Fate get me to level nine? I wanna just like sit here. Oh 
Oh my god, it's actually working. Alright. Usually when I play Infinity Team, I play around the Samira because she's kind of busted. But I'm kind of down to give this handsome man with a mustache a chance. Mostly because I have him right now. Level 7, 50 gold, win streaking. I need this sword. Alright, Giant Slayer, very solid. It's two frontline infinite teams. So I could just play infinite team as a frontline trait. This could go on the Fiddlesticks late game. I can just play whatever in the back. So, Twisted Fate, Fiora, Annie could be good. Why not Shiv, Twisted Fate? Uh, because if I do Gwinsu's. Hang on. If I do Gwinsu's Giant Slayer, then I can move the items to whoever I hit. If I hit Ultimate Ezreal, I can play it right now. If I do Shiv, I'm forced to play TF for the rest of the game. God damn. Cannoli, that's a level seven Leona. Wait, I should beat the guy. Oh man, this guy leveled up to seven, rolled, and then died. I, I just hit the nuts. I just hit Garen, Samira in one roll. Uh, I don't think it's better yet. Okay, I position for this guy specifically. Hopefully I win. Hopefully. I do not win. The pike just one shot my Tia. Alright, I gotta sell something. Uh sell the Annie. Yeah, the Blanc didn't even touch my Tia. That was just Pike. That was what I meant earlier. Like Pike's like the best unit in the game. He he's tanky, he splashes AoE. AoE stun, moves across the map, and actually does quite a lot of damage. Alright, Twist Fate. You had your chance. Go home. I'm not kidding, I'm about to do a fat roll down. Wait, this is gonna be so exciting. I'm about to roll down like 60 gold. Yeah, 100% chance I cannot go nine. The reason we cannot go nine is like, look, look at this. Look at my board. I'm gonna die before I go nine. Can't you go eight now? Yeah, but I'd rather sack one, go eight with 50 gold, or with like 70 gold. That way I can do my roll down and then make it to nine later. All right, let's do this. Gotta hit one ultimate Ezreal. Ooh. I'm pretty sure it's Daredevil. I think it's like actually better than the ultimate Ezreal one. I also don't want to risk it. Wait, I'm a little dizzy. Hang on. 
Oh, I never hit a Shen. That's that's what's up. I never hit a Shen. Okay, I just got one shot by. I just got one shot by a hacker Nar. God damn it. This is my board for a while. I'm gonna try to go nine off this, but if I lose one more time, I'm gonna roll it down. Okay, if I lose to one star hacker LeBlanc, there's something wrong with the game. Like, I hope I don't jinx it, but like, surely I win this, right? I don't agree to it. Oh, I guess I can't. Uh, fiddle player, pair plus D claw. There's an item I might actually build in this Samara that's unusual. I might unironically build an Edge of Night, and then like I am immune to all hackers. The only downside is like it's weaker in all the other matchups. Oh, this guy hit ultimate astral. Oh, Lagatus. What about the orb on your board? I'm saving that for Smear 3, but I gotta wait for this guy to die first. Hopefully I can beat him here. He's kinda strong. I took Daredevil because it gives my team a huge bonus, but not hitting an ultimate Ezreal is a little rough. I definitely could have rerolled for one, but I didn't think it was that great here. I needed the attack speed. I got this. Okay. Mostly scared with the hacker. There's a way to kind of position around it. This is what I've been doing. Hopefully I keep Samir a little safe here. All right, winning this is huge. If I win this, I can just go nine next round. Win streak and 70 gold at level eight. And then we can go for ultimate, one ultimate Ezreal spike really hard. I probably should have kept that Pantheon. Once you have ultimate Ezreal, uh, you throw in the Pantheon in for five with the infinite team here. Okay, Samira's kind of doing it. Daredevil's popping off! Sad that this is a fifth? Oh no, buddy, this is a first or an eighth. And honestly, if it's a first, no, if it's an eighth, I might explode. Not like sexually, like in an angry way. There's just no way I lose, right? Like, I hope I don't jinx anything, but like surely, like I got a 40 gold start. This is like a one in a million game. I had 70 gold on two five. The only way I lose is like from like some insane hacker cheese. I'm gonna level up here and just roll like 20 gold and then just like get my synergies in and then survive. Redemption's a really nice last item. Can I get one item for Samira? Damn. Alright, one ultimate Ezreal. Oh, okay. that was really fast. I did not finish positioning in time. Oh no. 
No, am I getting hackered? Please beat this Gnar. Yes! I don't know how, but the Samir didn't get hit. Thank God. Thank you, Fiddle. Thank you, Double Fiddlesticks, for saving my life. Am I really just like dropping four defender? It's, it's probably the correct play. Just doesn't feel very good. Or I drop TF and Sivir for Riven plus one. It's not a bad idea. Oh, there's another hacker and they're in first place. All right, it's fine, I got this. Garen in the back, like unironically. That way if there's a hacker, Garen immediately goes to fight. I literally have to block my Garen's path. And then hopefully a double fiddlesticks keeps me alive for a little bit. Okay. I think I lose. My Samir just got one shot. Okay, wait, hang on. Let this Garen cook. He's about to put his sword in her. You have now reached 100 flush today. Alright, I think it's time to roll. I'm gonna hit an ultimate Ezreal 2. There's still a hacker matchup in my pool. Actually, yeah, it's, it's probably Leona 2 over Wukong 2 for a little bit more health in the mech. Live, Samira, live! Oh. Oh, hello, Shibaka. Nice to see you here, dude. Hog, oh, we love TFT. Oh, yes. We love this particular patch of TFT. All right, what do we got? I'll take the Gloss Whisper. Also, Spear is a huge DPS increase. Aegis is pretty nice, though. Hold buff to my whole team. But uh, my, I'm like trolling for not having items on my Samira. The other Samira guy is kind of popping off. I am in control. I hate having to do this, dude. It's so bad for all my other matchups, but it's the only way to like be safe. Okay, if I lose this because I'm mispositioned, I'm gonna be really upset. I need to like, this guy is the reason why I can't hit Samira 3. So I, I really need to beat him, but like I'm way too clumped right now because I was positioning for Hacker. No, dude, his, his Garen goes right onto my Samira. Please beat him. Yeah, I'm really angry. The only reason I lose this is because I'm positioned to not get 20 owed by the hacker player. Like, if I could just face the hacker player and be done with the matchup, I could position normally and actually start winning fights again. It's so frustrating. I could have, like, this guy being alive is the reason why I cannot hit. Oh wait, oh no, I tried to dodge and I just realized I left my Samira wide open. Ah, uh, I guess that's my fault. I didn't want the, the, the NAR 3 to go straight into my Samira. I guess I deserve this punishment. This is what I get for trying to outplay him. I think I live with one at least. That's my bad. I, I realized I cannot do this positioning because these two aren't actual tanks. I have to do it on the left side. But like, if I do it on the left side and then he sends in NAR 3, I still lose. Like, I could actually bot for it from this spot just because I fuck. I'm getting owned by hackers. If I lose this, I'll probably just rage quit the stream. All right, get a Leona 2 over Wukong. Get an ultimate Ezreal 2, that's all we can really roll for. Up 
Alright, I mean, all I can do is pray. It's LeBlanc 3 straight in my face! Hopefully she attacks the Garen. Thank you. I positioned for it. I really hope this kills them once and for all. I finally got the matchup I was looking for after doing the positioning trap for so long. Fuck you! For spamming hacker every single game. Top four from that, three players died. That's so satisfying to send the hacker LeBlanc three player sixth. Okay, now I get to know every single matchup beforehand. Pog. <laughs> they don't know what they're up against. I'm scared that he's gonna send his Leona right there to try to hit my Mecha Prime Garen. So I'm moving my Garen back a little bit. Oh no, she still found him. Damn it. Oh no, I might lose because of that. Oh wait, maybe it's fine. Is it fine? It's fine. It's barely fine. Why don't you have Garen on the Infinite Team Hex? Oh hey, the Samira player died. Uh, because it's too late for that. <laughs> Alright, he's not an Infinite Team. Oh my gosh, I hit like six Samiras, but I don't think we'll hold them anymore. Okay, I'm gonna move my Garen in the middle. Dodge that Leona. What a game. I actually like almost went seven because of Hacker. But we barely clutched it out. And now that we got to the top four, it's so much easier. Because I can position for my matchup with 100% certainty. This is the power of starting with 40 gold. Die. <laughs> Finally, I can front to back every battle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. Okay, this guy is hacker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread my carries out. Open your eyes. Oh man. Well, I tried. Okay, just focus on this. Okay, if he didn't hack her, I'm, but, okay. I cloned my ultimate Ezreal for the first time this game, and I backlined my fiddlesticks. Alright. Hopefully this Gnar attacks the fiddle. Oh no, he's not attacking the fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks, wake up! Wake up, fiddle! Oh wait, we just win anyway. I think? I think we just win? Finish it off, Samira? Finish it off? Yes! That's so satisfying! After so much hackers, so many people playing hacker every single game. We barely, by one round, made it to the top four where I can see all my matchups individually. And I finally got to just win undefeated. Alright. I'm very satisfied, but also I'm still incredibly mad. I think every single game had three to four hacker players. And like, they do really well. It's just like, the, the, the trade is just too busted. Um... Listen, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm I'm gonna stop playing. I'm really happy about this game. This was a great game, but like, I just don't wanna go through this anymore. So like, so many games, it's just like hacker, hacker, hacker at the end, and they just go for different units.